In this video, we will be talking about the images and portrayal of the Last Supper. Paintings of the Last Supper are full of historical and biblical context showing Jesus surrounded by his apostles during his final meal before his betrayal. This depiction of the Last Supper we are looking at is by far the most famous piece of art about Jesus' final meal. This is Leonardo da Vinci's Last Supper, painted in the very late 15th century during the Renaissance era. We can see that the centerpiece and focal point of this work is Jesus positioned at the center, and he is surrounded by his apostles. Leonardo's depiction of the Last Supper is full of symbolic references, such as Judas, the third man from Jesus' right, clutching uh, the bag of coins that he sold out Jesus for, as well as Peter, the second man from Jesus' right, holding a knife that foreshadows him cutting off a soldier's ear later on. Leonardo arranges the twelve apostles into four groups of three. This is very significant because the number three is often associated with holiness and Catholicism. This also creates a sense of geometry that the Greeks often used to express heavenly perfection. All these details come together perfectly, and it is no wonder why Leonardo's depiction of the Last Supper is the most famous and known around the world. Another important depiction of the Last Supper is the fresco created by Andrea del Castaño. This was also completed during the Renaissance era sometime in the mid-15th century. There are many similarities between the depictions of Last Suppers, but there are also key differences as well. For example, Andrea del Castaño separates Judas from Jesus and the rest of the apostles by putting him on the other side of the table. Castaño also depicts Judas with a sharp beard, which follows historical theming and images, images of Judas from the past. Leonardo also did not include any of the detailed and somewhat distracting architecture in his depiction when compared to Castaño's. Leonardo instead focused only on Jesus and his apostles, which can in turn amplify the spirituality that surrounded Jesus. Castaño's depiction may seem more flashy, colorful, and detailed than Leonardo's, but Leonardo captured Jesus' holiness more preval prevalently because of his lack of flashiness. Castaño also lacks the geometric symmetry that Leonardo placed the apostles in, and instead displayed the apostles and Jesus in a straight line across the table, which subtracts from the heavenly perfection that Leonardo displayed. The last depiction of the Last Supper that we will talk about in this video is the Feast in the House of Levi, painted by Paolo Veronese. This was completed in 1573 and is one of the largest canvases painted during the 16th century, measuring 560 centimeters by 1309 centimeters. This painting is very different from the other depictions of the Last Supper and was highly controversial as well. It depicted a more secular side of Jesus and his apostles. We can see Jesus as the focal point still in the center of the painting but he and his apostles are surrounded by many people such as soldiers, children, entertainers, and animals. This secular imagery which surrounded Jesus was viewed as insulting, and many people were enraged that Jesus was not depicted with perfect holiness during the Last Supper. Veronese's painting was so controversial in fact that he was summoned to a tribunal before the Roman Catholic Inquisition to defend himself against charges of heresy. He barely defended himself and also did not make any changes to his painting, but he instead changed the title from the Last Supper to its current name, The Feast in the House of Levi. So the painting covered a less detrimental point in Jesus' life. This painting, when compared to the other Last Supper depictions, more realistically portrayed the chaos that surrounded Jesus and his apostles when he told them that one of them was going to betray him. And these details separate the, this Last Supper from the others.